Hi, welcome back to another Archicad speed modeling quick coffee tip. I'd like to show you how to do a drop down pavement curb where people walk down to the road. So you can see how nice this curb goes down and fits perfectly. Okay, let's get started then. I start with uh, just a simple slab and a curb, which I got here as, as a pavement a curb. All right, so we select the slab, go on the slab tool, and we just add a point here, roughly, and I like to add another one from here, exactly two meters. There you go, and we move this in up by one meter. There you go. So we got this for now. And we want to have an angle, of course, so we take this and we go x one meter to the right and x one meter to the left. Okay, to fill this up and get down to this level, I usually use the mesh tool. So just, you know, just normal um, settings as always, put on a layer and we just draw this mesh tool here. Let's see what we have. Obviously it's straight. So we can do this now, part of it in 3D. You go to the Z direction and move those ones up. There we go. And I like these actually be, they're 10 millimeter high. I'll show you quick. I've got a section here. So that's actually the, the curb. So it's 150 high, 110, 140, and this little bit is 10. Okay, so I like to be with this one also just 10 above. So you go there and you can see that's 10 millimeter now. Same on the other one. You just take the left as reference point. Okay, actually, you know what? That's a bit silly. I need to go all the way up, isn't it? So let's undo those two steps. See, there you go. Because I have to add that one here that makes much more sense just shift click there and shift click there okay we go now into 3d with all of it again and now i can move this up so obviously the ones on the left and right you have to go all the way up and those ones here i want to go 10 mil up so you can put a number you know elevation 10 or i just take the reference here and reference there okay so that looks good I move now my curb to there and we do another one over there and we do another one there. I keep them in pieces just to have to think. You could probably do the whole lot together, but um, yes, that's where I do it. All right, so obviously now we do have a problem here. So how do we get this curb down? So I use the, um, a roof tool and put this on a cutting element layer. It's quite simple actually. So a roof tool doesn't really matter what um, settings you have here, but just to show you, I got 200. Um, maybe air, that's quite important you see in the moment. It's quite nice having an air surface um, and important I put on cutting elements. So the angle at the moment doesn't matter because I'll show you what we do. So. I just like this because I really need to see that we are exactly on this point. So that's where the point is. Which one you got up here? But yes, that's all good. Going this way, pointing that way, and we just draw like this. It can overlap here, that's fine. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's do this and then we move this back. Actually, I don't want to fill in there. Where are we here? No cover fill. There we go. So, and we move this back to there. Okay, what we got here now? That's roof. That's see. That's why it's quite nice if you use an air surface. This one here, air. You can see through, which is much more nicer if you, as if you would use another one. I'll show you. So you obviously go to whatever. So you're moving now around. I can't, can't see through, which is not nice for what I'm doing. So let's keep it on air. Great, go back and I've got another elevation here. Let's open that one. There you go. 
So what I wanted to do is now, that's where it is. So we have to just simply take this and move it down to this. Okay, but there's one more important step. See, I want this 10 millimeter higher. So let's draw this up to there. You have to be careful here. You've got to do it again. So you take this down. Okay, so we use this as a cutting element. Obviously the same thing we use on the other side. So I can just do a simple uh, mirror copy. I got the middle here. There we go. Ooh, I got select something got selected. Yes, this one. That is not good. So let's do that again. Mirror a copy from the middle. All right. There we go. So we got two. And, and for this one here, guess what? I use again the roof because what you can do is copy and you move this there. And all you have to do is you do it zero. So it's a flat roof. What we got? Perfect. Let's have a look in 3D. So you can see we got now those air pieces. And while I'm here, we can continue because what I'm doing now is use the solid element operation and target elements operator element. So you click here because they're selected. Target elements will be my curb. Uh, target element and we say subtraction and execute. You can already see because I got an air thingy here, how nicely that is cut down. So let's turn that one off. Layers, hide layers. There you go. Looks pretty good to me. It's very nice, see? So you got this curb drop down and people can walk nicely onto the road. Okay, that was a little quick tip and I hope you enjoyed it and we'll be back next time. Bye for now.